Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm trying somewhere new to do videos. Um, I wanted to get somewhere that has better lighting. Um, so today I'm going to do a video on Carter Beauty by Marissa Carter. Um, I bought these at a reduced price from Sam McCauley's. Um, I have a couple of different bits and pieces to try um, I don't have everything for a full face and I don't have a primer so I'm just going to go ahead and do this without primer um, so I have the foundation I have two foundations I have the full measure HD foundation and then I have the half measure dewy foundation <clears throat> but I'm going to use the um, sorry, not going to do this down here. I'm going to use the HD full foundation. Um, I want to try it with this like Ortiz brush, where it's like a flat brush. I don't have my usual regular brush today, so I want to try this one. So. Um, I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. Okay. I'm just going to dip the brush in it. So although this is like a really wrong shade for me, I always say that I always go for darker colours in foundation because I find my skin is like really um red undertone and um, if I go for light foundations, it kind of looks like as if my skin is like white and a bit ghostly. Gonna need a bit more. So I am using quite a lot, and that that's what I put my on my hand the first time, and that's what I'm putting on my hand again. So quite a lot because technically speaking, it is like six pumps now. Also, I'm just going to say, I don't know what the whole thing was about um, Marissa Carter's beauty brand and she was saying that people aren't buying it and um, I think it was really that her brand wasn't doing well um, and that they were nearly thinking about closing down the brand. Um, but yeah, it was just a bit weird. And a bit off. Um, so this is it in the sunlight, natural daylight. Um, I mean, it looks fine so far. Um, I don't have a concealer, so I'm literally just put rolling in the foundation over my eyes. I'm just blending it out. Um. That's the foundation. I mean, it's fine. Um, I will say, I mean, I use like six pumps just to get enough out. 
uh, to do my face. Um, I do think that was quite a lot for just to do your face. Perfect. Just want to move it in a bit closer and that's a bit better now. Um, so you can see me better now. Um, I mean, I will say you can see a bit of colour difference all right on my neckline. Um, but overall, I think it's fine, really. I think I can get away with it. It's definitely a summer shade. Um, it's still a bit tacky and I don't have setting powder to set it down. But the next thing that I'm going to go in with is the liquid illuminator. Um, it's that's what it just looks like. It just says liquid illuminator. Um, I'm just gonna tap it on my face like that. Um, I'm just gonna get um my beauty blender and blend that in with that. Yeah, I don't feel like this is going anywhere. I mean, it looks nice, but you can still see the dots where I put it down. It looks nice. It was just a bit difficult to work with. Um. On this side, I'm going to go in with um, this flat blank canvas, can, uh, blank canvas brush. This is a flat foundation brush. So I'm just going to go in with it, tap it on. I don't know what's wrong with this, but it's very kind of difficult to work with. I feel like as if maybe I kind of sheared out a bit with the brush, a bit more than this side where I use the beauty blender. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so the next thing is, I have this palette, where it's like a face palette, and so it's, called, I think it's called Cherry Bomb, I think that's what it's called, if I'm going by um up here here we go um so i'm just going to get um powder brush here i'm just going to go into the contour shade just here Not looking too bad.
think that's the first bronzer in a long time where it's shown up straight away and I'm actually kind of impressed with it. Next thing though is I don't really have any eyeshadow brushes with me right now. So this would be a concealer brush. I'm just gonna use that right now. Um I'm gonna dip into the first shade up here that's called um nectar. It's um it's a very basic neutral shade. I'm just going to put that all over the lid. Okay, that looks fine. Just, I just want them to be the same even amount on both sides. So I'm just going in back and forth. And that looks fine. Um, the next thing now, um, I also just want to point out and say that the glitters in this palette look amazing. I mean, look at that red. That'd be perfect for Christmas. Um, right now, I'm just going to do, um, I was going to say simple, but with this much foil or whatever, I wouldn't really describe it as simple, but... It's definitely what you can wear is every day. Okay. Um just want to wait by off my finger. Um I'm quite happy with how it's coming together. Um, it's not the worst eyeshadow. I mean, it blended really easily. Those glitter shades, the one that I put on the goldy colour, is really buttery and easy to put on. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some blush. It's like this really cute pink shade just here. Um, I'm going to use the same brush that I use for bronzer because I don't have another brush right now. Okay. It's just like a nice flush of pink. Um, 
I'm not going to use the highlighter in that because the highlighter I do have to use is this highlighter palette called Pegasus. 